Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today we are working on the car. So we are outside and let's take a look at uh, what we've done so far. A little update on the car. Still looks like it needs a lot of work, but let's go ahead and take a look at it. All right, so last time we uh, were trying to get some hiccups uh, that the uh, car had, we're trying to problem solve that. So we ended up changing all the electrical, new plugs, new wires and everything. Uh, kind of helped halfway. And uh, so we're trying to figure out. Good thing it wasn't some electrical that uh, normally happens down here. That there's a wire down here that gets corroded, and uh, sometimes that does it. But uh, luckily we did not have to do that. And the only thing we had to do is obviously new filter, clean um, the, uh, the flow sensor, and then the idle control valve, clean that out. And uh, that's pretty much it. Once we did that, everything ran perfectly. So that's a little update on uh, what was going on um, with with that. So that's already fixed. And uh, yeah. All right, and this is what the project that we're gonna be working on today. It's a fairing. It's a wind visor, and uh, I got this for fifteen dollars. It was uh, semi new, but it did not have brackets. So that's what we're gonna be working on today. I got these brackets at Home Depot and these are uh, in the electrical section. I bought a one inch uh, aluminum strip. It was about 48 inches long and it was about like 11, $12. And uh, we're gonna be cutting that into three sections. So we have uh, three different brackets. And I'm simply gonna use my metal grinder and cut through each of those uh, different brackets. I strapped all three brackets uh, together using masking tape and I'm going to try to drill all of them at once. So right now I'm going to be using a, uh, a uh, puncher and this way my uh, drill bit doesn't you know, dance around the item. So uh, that's a real cool little two and a half. Now that we have all the holes drilled up, it's time to bend each of those brackets. So I'm gonna use a little bit of heat and uh, a hammer to kind of give it a 45 degree bend. Luckily I found uh, six identical bolts, uh, 
somewhat identical so uh, they're going to be perfect uh, to be able to mount those brackets on there. Let's go ahead and mount the uh, finished piece onto the car and see what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and go for a test drive, um, but uh, eventually I'm going to take this off and add another piece across horizontal the, on the entire uh, fairing. This way, uh, the bottom sections there uh, don't kind of uh, bend with the wind. So I'm going to structurally uh, put another bracket on there so it's nice and strong. So I was getting this uh, weird sound when I had the roof open. But these uh, bars, it will make a like a zooming sound, and uh, it was kind of annoying. So uh, hopefully this uh, wind visor, wind reflector works. don't have a sound of the uh, before the wind reflector so you have to trust me on it it was annoying and we'll see what it does now we're getting on the freeway now no sound so that's a good sign I have it completely open you can barely hear the wind and uh, there's a fire going on actually check that out there's a fire going on let's go take a look at it all right and that's gonna be it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, type of content let me know if you want to see more of the car and uh, of course i like doing all types of customization so i really enjoy uh, making these videos and working on the car as well as painting so i'll see you guys in the next video for now take it easy and i'll see you later bye bye